that the water came up to the people washed themselves and repeat some of this for you this is the area here this is the pub this is what's going to happen here yes i showed you before this green is just going up in here you know and uh, <laughs> that's unusual because what's happening here you know look at this here it's just sprouting up you know just sprouting and uh you cannot you can uh, just to take a look at this you can't I can't describe how luscious it is. Uh, how actual, uh, actually green. I don't know if this video tape is actually gonna catch the beauty of this. This, this was just coming right out of nothing here. You know, it's coming right out of the, the dirt, the dry dirt here. You know, so, and they've said that since we've been here, praying that more, this whole year has been more war though than ever. You know, and they've been describing the weather, but the, the world wants to blame it as and give glory to Jah E Y E all of me for rejuvenating the land. Okay, what's happening now is this is one of the towers that we have said our prayers in. You see another one of the towers here. And it's the gate we said the prayers in a second ago. And uh, again, uh, it's just the blood altar. And right here it's letting you know that this is the sanctuary here. You know. And then the sanctuary is letting you know here as you go a little farther exactly what type of sanctuary this is. This is not just any type of sanctuary. This is an Israelite temple. You see, they're describing this as an Israelite temple. You see, and look at the date there. You see. So the thing is, this is very old. This is what they call the first temple period. And again here, come up to here, you sit here and you wash your feet and stuff before you actually enter into the holy place. That's what's going on here. And this is the water trough that I showed you from above. Again, I'm going to point out to you. This is where our holy holy. Now, you can see here. This is very interesting here because you can see the altar. This is the altar for Jah Ayy Alam E. And this is the stone that represents Alam E. Or Jah Ayy, I should say. Now, you can see the platform. Look at the platform there. The platform is actually raised up. And the stone is actually smaller. This is a larger altar here. But the stone here is actually smaller than the other stone that's beside it. You know, one stone is right there, and right in front of us, and you have a stone there on the right and the stone on the left. And what's happening here is the stone that's sitting right here is actually raised equal to the stone that's right, right next to us. So this, what this is representing, this is actually representing and giving praise to Allah but at the same time, it's letting it be known that Jaiwai in Israel is equal to Allah. And, you know, and we have to respect her and give her the praise, even as we give the Father Allah the praise. So this is what's going on here right now. And... Now, now I'd like to say again, it's good to see you, brothers. It's good to hear from you, brothers. I have heard from you a long time. I told you we were going to be in the Holy Land. We're doing all of this because we realize that, the rep that we're not going to get reparations just because we ask for it. We're going to get reparations not because we ask man, but because we ask God and man. And through our prayer, at the right place, at the right time, with the right spirit, we're going to free our people. And we're going to return to the land of our forefathers. And we're going to rebuild. And we're going to bring in the kingdom of God. Flower of our shalom shalom. Namaste. Repent for thine objects. Because we don't, we'll be at the end. Repent for thine objects. Repent for thine sins. Repent for thine objects. Repent, 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 repent. Repent for thine objects. Repent for thine sins. Repent for thine objects. Because we don't, we'll be at the end. Repent thy objects. Repent for thine sins. Because we don't, we'll be at the end. Just pick up a Bible and you'll know. Just read, read. And you'll grow. Try the Genesis and read all through, and you will see the things you should do. Here's how you repent. If you didn't know, you confess you're a sinner. Then you'll grow. But you have to be true in your heart. Fast and pray, so you'll start to feel closer to the